What to photograph in December 2023? Hello, Photopillar, Rafael the Bar here. December, we're getting to the end of the year, and there are still a lot of events to photograph. Mercury at its greatest eastern elongation, one of the best times to be when photograph the planet, the Geminids meteor shower, the Ursids meteor shower, we also got the comet 62P Sushin Chan that's reaching perihelion. The comet will be visible in the night sky, but not to the naked eye, unfortunately. The full moon, of course, four conjunctions of the moon with the planets with Venus, Mercury, Saturn, and Jupiter. And of course, don't forget the Milky Way, our galaxy. Ah, and again, as always, don't forget the always on for opportunities and talking about sunrise, sunset, golden hour, blue hour, star trails. Also, as always, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you three of the best photos that you guys, the For Peoples community, have submitted to the For Peoples Awards and that we featured in November. So let your imagination fly, <laughs> decide what you want to photograph, and go to For Peoples and use it to plan the photo so you can go and capture it. Okay, let's get a start. Let's see some of the best photo opportunities that can be captured in December 2023. On December 4th, Mercury will be at its greatest eastern elongation, which means that the planet will be further away from the Sun, giving us great conditions to be one photograph the planet. Mercury will shine in the early evening skies with a magnitude of minus 0.5, visible to the naked eye. After sunset, you'll find it low in the sky. Next to the sunset direction, the thick orange line you see on the map. The Geminis meteor shower, the most powerful meteor shower of the year, is peaking on the night that goes from December 14th to December 15th. Around 117 meteors per hour are expected at the peak. And the good news is that the moon with a phase of only 5.5% will be under the horizon at night, allowing us to enjoy and photograph the show. The radiant point of the meteor shower this is the spot in the sky where meteors originate will be due to east and the radiant is represented on the map by this uh, gray line that is moving while i'm changing the time so you know where the radiant is at all time also if you are on the right position you can also always use the night AR and visualize where the radiant is the gemini's radiant is here and this is the path of the radiant that you can swipe your finger from right to left to change the time you have the data date and time here so you know where the radiant is at all time so you can decide either to include it in the photo or exclude it. Depends on your preferences. And the Geminids are super cool because they are visible from both hemispheres, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. And if you wish to learn how to plan your photos of the Geminids, please watch this video. The Earthseed's meteor shower is peaking on the night that goes from December 22nd to December 23rd. Around 7 meteors per hour are expected at the peak. The bad news is that the Earthseeds are peaking around the big moon. The moon will have a phase of 85% at the peak, so you'll need to wait for the moon to set before you can start shooting. The Earthseeds radiant is due north and as you see it's moving along the path of the radiant here on the map, so you know where the radiant is at all time, and uh, as always you can tap on the night AR and visualize, visualize the Earthseeds. The radiant of the Earthseeds is a circumpolar. Uh, constellation, so it's uh, uh, here we have it around the Polaris, and this makes the Earth its a meteor shower that's visible only from the northern hemisphere. On December 25th, the comet 62P Sunchin Chan will be at perihelion. This is when the comet is closest to the Sun, and is when it reaches its maximum level of brightness. Releasing large amounts of dust and gas, the comet is disintegrating. Unfortunately, the comet with an expected magnitude of 8.8 .8 won't be visible to the naked eye, but it can be visible with binoculars or with a telescope, of course. The last full moon of the year is on December 27th, giving us one more chance to photograph it aligning with the subject we like. So, based on the moonrise direction and the moonset directions, plan your shot. Like the one I planned here in Menorca, if uh, on December 27th, 2023, at 5.44pm uh, or less, I am at the red pin position, I'll be able to photograph a huge moon aligned with the Cavalleria Lighthouse. And if you want to see the size of the moon on the map, tap on the Layers button, tap on the Moon Layer, switch on, show moon size, go back to the map, and now you see how big the moon is going to be. And actually you have the size of the moon on the top panel in brackets, 48.9 meters of size, pretty cool. And it was, we're going to be aligned with the uh, Lighthouse of Cavalleria in Menorca. 
shooting distance about 5.5 kilometers and that's an amazing shot also if you go to panel number three and you check the elevation of the sun in this case is minus 4.06 degrees which means that this shot occurs at the beginning of the blue hour super nice the moon is gonna take a very very beautiful color this is a very cool shot actually Antoni Claudel, the photographer of the Philippines team has taken similar shots uh, even from further away of Cavallari Lighthouse and the moon as you see in this photo beautiful oh by the way you wish to learn how to plan your moon shots watch this video in December there will be four cool moon planet conjunctions on December 9th the moon will be in conjunction with Venus and the moon phase will be 12% pretty thin on December 14th Mercury will be pretty close to a pretty thin moon the moon phase will be only 2% on December 17th the moon will be in conjunction with Saturn and the moon phase will be 29% and finally on December 22nd Jupiter will be in conjunction with the moon and the moon phase will be 80% on both hemispheres you'll find the conjunctions of the moon and the planets where the moon is so actually if I change the time here you'll see this thin blue line moving that's the position of the moon and there you'll see the moon and the planets so you can miss them if you want to plan your moon planet conjunction shot aligned with an interesting subject for example the new moon is on december 12th and in december we get to enjoy the theme part of the milky way for example in the northern hemisphere as always i have the pin in menorca as you see the milky way uh, is only visible the theme part of the milky way only the tail only the the theme park, no galactic center on uh, the Milky Way at this time of the year. If I tap on the night AR, you can visualize the horizon here, and this is the theme part of the Milky Way because the core is just below the horizon, right? All the time at night. Very cool. The polar is here. Now, if I go to the southern hemisphere, for example, you know, let's go to Argentina here you don't see the Milky Way the, you, you see the Milky Way of course at night but you don't see the galactic center either in December in the southern hemisphere again if I tap on the night AR you see that the core is not above the horizon it's just under the horizon right there that is the core and the horizon is here and this is the south celestial pole and this is the thin part of the Milky Way above the horizon but the winter Milky Way in the Northern Hemisphere and the summer Milky Way in the Southern Hemisphere is super cool to photograph too. So I invite you to give it a try. By the way, if we still learn how to plan your Milky Way photos with photo pills, which is super easy, watch this video. And now let's see some of the best photos that you guys have submitted to the Photo Pills Awards and that we featured in the month of November. The first one is a fantastic photo of the Milky Way completely vertical at the Rock Church in Texas, USA, photo taken by Martin Allen. The second one is a stunning photo of the moon aligned with the Monteferri Sanctuary in Catalonia, Spain, photo taken by David de la Cruz. And the third one is a super cool photo of the annual solar eclipse of October 14th, 2023, taken in Bitsi, New Mexico, USA, photo by Peter V. Amazing photos, thanks for sharing that. And now if you used to learn how to plan and photograph each one of the events I've shared with you in this video, I invite you to download and study well our super detailed astronomical events photography guide. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video and in the first comment below download it and as always if you like this video give me a like subscribe and i'll see you next wednesday in another video and remember that you have the power to imagine plan and shoot legendary photos bye